Hi, this is Mukda Pradhan. You're watching me on Fit Tuck, and I am going to be talking about healthy eating tips for teenagers because today is National Youth Day. Every day is Youth Day. Uh, I like being young myself. Now, if you're a teenager watching this, um, here are some tips for you, okay? And I know when you're a teenager, when you're young, you have this intense feeling of the fact that you're invincible and nothing in life could harm you and what are all these healthy eating tips for and there's no need to even think about this. But uh, think of your health like a bank balance. Um, so if you keep making withdrawals from the bank, right? Like if you keep taking away your health by putting the wrong things in your body or by doing things that are destroying your health, when you're older, when you're my age, which is like mid 40s, if you've not taken enough care of your health in your teens, really well with all your systems functioning, with health in your hands and like, you know, really enjoying and celebrating life, here are some things that you could do from today. One is really cut down on the processed foods, right? I know they're super tempting. I know they're yummy. I myself was addicted to these foods. Um, but limit your consumption of these foods as much as possible. And when I'm talking of uh, processed foods, typically the things that you would really enjoy would be things like Maggie or, you know, your uh, chips and like these easy to eat packet foods, like crunchy stuff. Or you could be hanging out with your friends in one of the fast food joints, the ones that sell, you know, burgers and uh, fried chicken. I can't take their names, but you know what I'm talking about. So limit your consumption or exposure to these foods as much as you can. Ideally, if you can eat all meals that are made at home, your parents would be super happy, but your body would be happy too. The second thing is bring in more protein into your diet, okay? Because right now your body is growing. So... Your body needs more protein to build muscle, to even kind of create the hormones that you need as you're going through this phase of life. Your body will need protein to do this. So eat more protein-rich foods. These are eggs, red meat, fish, prawns, chicken. Chicken, limit that. Uh, have more red meat and eggs. Third, make sure you're taking in nutrients like B-complex, vitamin D. And vitamin D, the best source is the sun, so get some sun exposure. But if you're not getting sun exposure on a daily basis, then make sure you're taking some vitamin D and B complex and magnesium on a day-to-day -day basis. Eat fruits, but eat organic fruits as much as possible because you don't want horrible chemicals and pesticides and fertilizers going inside your beautiful young body. So eat organic as much as possible. So you could stay away from the vegetables, eat fruits, eat meat, eat uh, saturated fat like butter and ghee and coconut oil. I am not joking. These are actually good for you. And make sure you get a lot of movement through the day. Get sunlight exposure, drink lots of water, sleep on time. And you are just a teenager who's like figured out what it means to be awake and binge watch on some things. And uh, what else? What other healthy tip could I give you? Um, do not forget to celebrate life, but it always doesn't have to be with foods that are bad for you. If you're a parent of a teenager watching this, then I have like very few things to say to you. But the first one being you become the role model for your children. So if you are indulging in really unhealthy habits, but you're expecting your child to eat healthy, it's going to be impossible. So all the tips that I gave for a teenager are tips that you could inculcate as a parent and automatically you'll see that your child's behavior uh, around food or uh, eating what is right for their body will actually start happening. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope that with this small set of tips today, the future of our uh, nation's uh, young children's health is going to be slightly different than what we are seeing right now.